Katie with your Galco TV Tech Tip. Bearings are machine elements that constrain relative motion to only the desired motion while also reducing friction between moving components. Depending on the design of the bearing, it may provide free linear movement of the moving parts, free rotation around a fixed axis, or it may prevent motion by controlling the vectors of normal forces that affect the moving parts. There are six common types of bearings. Plane bearings, which are just a bearing surface with no rolling elements. They have a high load carrying capacity and high durability. Rolling element bearings, which come in two primary types, which are ball bearings and roller bearings. Ball bearings are very common and can handle both radial and thrust loads, but only a small amount of weight. While roller bearings are designed to carry heavy loads by distributing the load over a larger area. Jewel bearings are plain bearings with a metal spindle that turns in a jewel-lined pivot hole and handle loads by rolling the axle slightly off-center. They are typically found in mechanical watches and clocks. Fluid bearings support their load through a thin layer of liquid or gas and are available in two primary types. Fluid dynamic, which forms liquid into a lubricating wedge against the inner surface and relies on an external pump and hydrostatic. Fluid bearings are used in high load, high speed, and high precision applications. Magnetic bearings support moving parts without physical contact instead of relying on magnetic fields to carry their loads. They require continuous power to keep a stable load, so they require a backup bearing to protect against power or control system failure. And flexor bearings, which join other parts together like a hinge and are supported by a bending load element. Due to their nature, they require repeated bending. Stay tuned to Galco TV for more tech tips.